I've just recently picked up the GoPro 9 and one of the things it's really useful for is using it as a live cam or a webcam for video chat calls or live streaming. Really, really easy to do. There's a few things you need, a few things that you need to download. So we'll just do it step by step and then we'll have a chat later. Let's get it done first, show you exactly how to do it. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any uploads and you, if you want to skip through this video, you can do along the chapters down below. First of all, you need a GoPro. Now, this method works with the GoPro 8 and the GoPro 9, the new one. You need a wire, a USB-A to USB-C wire to connect it from your computer to the GoPro, and you need a computer. It works both on Mac and on Windows. The Windows GoPro webcam app is currently in beta, it's, so it might be a little bit glitchy, but it still works. I've checked it out on the PC, but I'm doing this video on the Mac just to show you exactly how to do it. First of all, go to the GoPro's website just to download the GoPro webcam app. I'll link it in the description down below so you can take you straight there. Really, really simple. Click on the particular operating system you want to download it for, downloads it, install it, job done. Next, you want to set up the GoPro. Just turn it on, set it up behind the computer as if you were using a normal webcam in the sort of same position. I've got it here on a little tripod with a ring light. You don't have to do this, you can actually just use natural light behind you. GoPro sell an accessory on the website where uh, it clips onto the MacBook and it's got a little swivel head. I'll link that in the description down below if you want to pick up one of those. But yeah, just set it up as you would do a webcam, just sort of above where the FaceTime cam, if you like, on the MacBook is. Then the next thing you have to do is turn it on. You open up the door, it's a little bit awkward because the door has to be kept open on the side where the battery compartment is so you can plug the USB-C in. We plug the USB-A or just normal USB into the computer and then that wire goes into the USB-C on the GoPro. It will recognize it as a webcam straight away more or less so it'll show up active on there as a USB device. And then we go into whatever software you want to use this webcam in. I'm just in Zoom for example. I'll show you first of all what the FaceTime cam looks like on the MacBook 16 inch 2019. Um, it's terrible and then I'll show you the comparison with the GoPro. Right, this is the 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch i7, the FaceTime camera you're looking at here and it looks pretty terrible. The audio I'm using is from the camera over there. I'm recording here, so I've got the audio from the camera, uh, but I'm not I'm not using the uh, built-in microphone, although it's not too bad on the MacBook Pro. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty terrible. I've got to be honest, I hate. I wish Apple would make these cameras a lot better, but this is the whole reason why you can use a GoPro as a webcam to make it look a lot better. So what we do is come down to the video down here, the little arrow next to where it says stop video. So automatically, when you've got the software installed on your computer and you've got the uh, GoPro plugged in to the computer, it will recognize the fact that there's a GoPro available to be used as a webcam. So you just click there, video options, press GoPro webcam and it, it will switch over. Now, this is the GoPro. Now, while it's not perfect, it is a huge, huge improvement over the FaceTime cam on the MacBook Pro. The audio you're listening to is from the camera over here. You, in other softwares like OBS, you can use this as a webcam or a live streaming cam in OBS. You can actually use the inbuilt microphone on the GoPro as well, which isn't too bad. It's probably a little bit better than the MacBook Pro, but if you're doing that kind of thing and streaming, I'd recommend using an external microphone. So this is what the GoPro looks like. We'll quickly switch back to show you the webcam. This is what the webcam looks like, and then we'll switch back to the GoPro so you can see the difference very quickly again. Hop, GoPro webcam. There we go. So the I'm talking, and there is a little bit of latency, but it's not too bad at all. Um, I think you can fix latency problems by turning off the stabilization in the camera. That was the issue with the GoPro 7. Now just remember that the uh, this only works with the 8 and the 9. It doesn't work with the 7. I've just tried it out with the 7. The USB uh, connection isn't available with the 7. If you want to use the 7 or below then you're going to have to sort of use the HDMI with a capture card and I've done a whole other video on that which is extremely popular so I'll link that up up there somewhere so you can check that out if you want to if you've got something uh, like the GoPro 7 and below. So it's really really simple and for 
Something that's just a lot better than the FaceTime cam, the GoPro is perfect. There are other options. You can use, like I said, a HDMI capture card to use um, the DSLR or a mirrorless camera and that gives you really, really good results. I've done other videos. I will link them above or link them down below. Go and check those out if that's something you're interested in. But the GoPro, really good for live streaming and even better for Zoom calls, just to add that little bit more quality to your Zoom call. So yeah, really good and really, really simple to do. Like I said, what I'll do, I'll link everything in the description down below that you need to get this sorted out. And if you've got a GoPro 8 or 9, then it's a fantastic option for doing Zoom calls. But that's it for this video. I hope it helped. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, please make sure you subscribe because we've got lots of not only GoPro content coming soon, but lots of other tech videos, uh, lots of stuff coming up very soon. So stay tuned. Uh, but until the next one, take it easy. I'll see you soon. Bye.